chosen the most colorful of all the dance families, the professional Latin category. What our viewers will see is what the judges have been watching all weekend, the finest couples in the country battling it out to determine who will make it all the way to the grand championships. Just who are these dancers, and what does it take to get this far? Well, the competition is open to any couples who want to compete. However, realistically, only a small number of uh, partners have a shot at the title. For the rest, coming to an event of this caliber means exposure and experience, invaluable ingredients if they're going to be serious contenders in future events. What we are seeing tonight is competition in the semi-final round between 12 couples and the final round between six couples. And don't forget, as many as 40 couples may have started out. So even to get this far takes a lot of determination, strength, and showmanship. Let's catch up with them in this crucial semi-final round. Thank you, competitors. Our judges are selecting six couples for the final. And you have just seen the samba. We are now going to see the cha-cha. As you can see, all the couples dance together on the floor, and the judges stand around them on the edges of the floor, carefully watching and marking their performance. Oh, that's got to be tough on the dancers. I mean, there's so many of them, and they're all trying to catch the judge's attention. That's very true. But in order to succeed and win, one has to have a very polished and unique routine. These judges have all been dancers and competitors themselves. Now they coach and teach dancers, so they're able to spot a good dancer when they see one. and such myself. Many times you'll lose something really good that someone is doing because your eye is on somebody else. Thank you. And our third dance in this semi-final, the rumba, please. Certainly rhythm has to play a very important part in uh, the Latin dances. But, uh, I would as think much... in this kind of dance also a lot of fluidity is very exactly. important. And, and style, the way they use the hip action and the... It's that, very sensual, isn't very, it? Very, very sensual. Kind of that correct knee and hip action that makes it look so authentically Latin. Do they do their own routines or are they coached? Most of them are coached. Most of the couples have coaching and uh, go to see an expert to polish their routines. Uh -huh. It's much harder to dance. This is not so bad because they have a little bit of area now to dance in. I was watching them earlier and thinking, gosh, it must be really difficult on a crowded floor. It is. Because you can't help but bump into Thank people. Thank you, the presence. And our final dance, the Paso Doble. And Juliet, we'd like to remind our viewers that this is the semi-final round. Only six of these couples will be fortunate enough to come back for the final round. And in the final round, we'll see all five dances. Uh -huh. um, the cha-cha, samba, rumba, pasadoble, and we add the jive in the final round. 
of course, only one of the couples from the final round, the winner, will go on to perform in our grand championships later tonight. I see. So, in, oh, really, the winning couple will have performed three times in all this exactly, evening. Exactly, tonight. That's a pretty grueling evening for anybody. It is going to be a grueling evening. Because aside the from yeah. just doing the physical side of it, it's the emotional side that is wearing. Yes. yes. Out there. Beautiful. Thank you, couples. While we wait for the judge.